what is up everybody welcome back to another video today i am bringing you an updated settings guide for valorant console especially for you newcomers out there or for the people who even get the chance to play the beta this guide is definitely for you stay tuned for the full thing because this guide will definitely help you win some more gunfights within the future so let's get right into the video so first things first we'll start off with general map rotate map with player and change orientation based on side i like to turn these off show map region names I will always turn this on, especially helps with the uh, callouts and such. Invert cursor and controls X and Y. If you turn these on, you are crazy. I'm just saying, you are crazy. For the minimap size and zoom, I like to have my minimap size as big as I can. However, I like to zoom out just so I know where my uh, player is on the current map. And keep players uh, centered. I, that's really up to you. I personally just turn this off. And minimap vision cones, I like to turn on. Content filter, show mature content. I always turn this on. However, some people may make the argument that it'll definitely, if you have this on, it will hinder performance. I haven't seen exact math or statistics around this, but if it does actually hinder performance, definitely turn this off. But in the meantime, turn this on. Privacy, I I like to hide my name, especially because I've been, especially when I stream this game, sometimes I do get stream snipes sometimes, even from a subscriber, like even from a channel with 600 subscribers, the fact that I get a uh, stream snipe is pretty crazy to me in itself. Next, we have enemy highlight color. I personally like to turn it to yellow. I just personally see it much better. However, you might be a bit, bit different. So definitely play around with this. Next, we have other under other <laughs> show bullet tracer on just so you can see the vandal the classic the stinger and so and so uh bullet tracers if you have this off definitely will be a hot harder to see uh show new player tips I always turn this off and first person handiness i i'm a righty so i turn this on to right and english and united states language that's for me if technically i'm canadian so i could turn this to canada but i've never really Aired, so USA and Canada are pretty much the same thing. Next, we have controls and overview. Now, for myself, uh, we'll start off with preset. Now, for me personally, I use Tactician, especially because of the L2 crouch. This is what I pr probably prefer. However, a lot of people do have success on Valorant and Bumper Shooter, so definitely give those a try. Now, for me personally, one of my favorite things in this game is definitely the customization of agents. So, if for in particular, if I wanted to play Astro, which I have in the past. I can have customization settings, especially for horizontal and sensitivity stuff, just for my Astra. However, majority of the agents I have for a default profile. However, if I play a specific agent, those will override the default profile. Next, we have aim overview for the controls. Now, for me personally, the advanced sensitivity settings will be turned off initially. You need to turn these on, especially if you want to have a more customization when it comes to different gunfights the base horizontal sensitivity is you basically in left or right normally so i like to turn this on at 6.5 now the focus horizontal and the uh, vertical i also like to keep on 6.5 i just just like the way it feels and i have more flexibility when i go into gunfights with it now the ads i just i don't really use ads that much so i just have it at 7.6 however to be honest the rest is just 6.6 same with the sniper Next, we have focus slash ADS priority. Now, I like to focus on focus uh, mainly. And I just feel like focus mode is a lot better than ADS. That's just me personally. However, next we have focus slash ADS behavior. And the sniper behavior, I just do it on hold. It's just simple as that. Invert vertical aim, I always turn this off. If you play on invert, you are crazy. Next, we have aim inner dead zone and outer dead zone. I, for the inner, I have 0.12. For the outer, I have 0.95. Next, we have the base aim curve. Now, I like to have it at standard, but I have, in the past, definitely have success with aggressive. So definitely try to play around this. Um, I wouldn't say there's one specific aim curve that's overpowered. It's mostly about comfort. At the, now, at the current moment, I prefer standard. Now, for the rest, for focus, ADS, and sniper, I like it on light. For movement... Uh, for crouch behavior, I like to have it on hold. That's just a personal preference. For the walk-run threshold, I like to have it at 
And honestly, if I just bounce it up to 0.9, it's whatever. Now, this basically is just a very simple thing. But it mostly applies the uh, left analog. Now, if you slowly push the left analog up, you will go into walk mode. However, the farther you go up, eventually you'll meet the threshold, which will turn into a run. So that's what it really means. And the default movement mode for me is run. And movement end zone is 0.2. Next, this is probably where the like the key takeaways you want to take away from this guide. If there's anything, definitely in this section you need to pay attention with. Now, weapon swap behavior. You can make an argument for hold for personally. However, I like to have it on double tap. Let's play around with it. Fast melee equip. Always nice. Next, we have the L2 and R2 button den zones. I like for button presses, I like to have these dead zones pretty much at zero. For the uh, left and right analog, I, w I don't mind incorporating more of a dead zone, especially because those wear out a lot more compared to the others. Uh, plant slash diffuse behavior, always on hold. You can plant and diffuse a lot quicker and a lot safer, especially for those fakes and those situations where you need to bait out enemies. Definitely put it on hold. I, I, Hoggle's just too unreliable in this situation, I would find. Now, auto equip priority. For every agent in the game, you're always going to pick strongest. Except one, Yoru. Yoru is the only agent in the game that will have mostly, most recently equipped turned on. And it's mostly because of when you're coming out of his TP or his ult. Every other agent will have strongest. Yoru will, won't. For stance indicator, I have it on. Now, this is the probably the biggest setting you should uh, take away. Like... If you turn this off, you will win more gunfights. I kid you not. You will win more gunfights if you have walk while well, in focus turned off. It's just, it's a lot more fluid. And when you engage in these gunfights coming around corners, you're a harder target to hit compared to when you're walking. Now, dampen sensitivity or shooting sensitivity. I uh, personally, I have it off at the current moment. Definitely try this on or off. This is definitely a more of a comfort pick. Vibration off for crosshair completely up to you at the current moment i use dots in the past i've used uh crosses or small little crosses completely up to you if you want to go with these crazy crosshairs go for it they're always fun to see especially when you're spectating somebody but i wouldn't recommend it uh for stats wise client fps i like just pr pretty much just the fps i like to see Everything else, I don't really care. For volume wise, this is again up to you. Depends on what type of headphones you're using. Or I, I would just say turn out to 80. 80 is always a safe bet. However, if you like 100, 100 is fine as well. For voiceover, I like to turn all these on. So I like to hear what the agents are saying within the game. Uh, voice chat and up to you. Now, under other, other. I like to turn these two on for duck music and able RTF. That's just me personally. I just I just find I hear better with these settings turned on. Now that's it for the video, everybody. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out and have a wonderful time.